Gus, thanks very much. It's time for our health center. Today we're talking about sleep apnea. That can cause a person to stop breathing while asleep. It can be deadly. Joining us this morning is Dr. Madden Kajula from Wheaton Franciscan Healthcare, St. Joseph's, and Keith Sawyer, who's one of his patients. He had some surgery to correct sleep apnea over the winter. Gentlemen, thanks very much for being with us Always today. Doctor, let me start with you. Let's just talk about what causes this, how someone would know they had it. Sure. It, it's really typically caused by obstruction in the back of the throat. And the most common sign that people would notice that they have it is they're, that they're snoring at night or somebody tells them that they're snoring. Or, you know, certainly waking up tired, feeling tired all day. Those sorts of things uh, would tell you that there's trouble at night. Keith, was that your uh, situation that suddenly you, you, you felt this and you knew there was a problem? I wouldn't say it was sudden. It kind of came on over time and uh, mostly that I just felt tired throughout the day. Uh, more of a concern while I was driving and things like that, that I felt so tired that it was something you were fighting to stay awake. What did you decide to do? Was this a gradual decision to get surgery? How did you uh, proceed with treatment? I, you know, I tried something called a CPAP, uh, it's a mask that you uh, wear. Uh, it just didn't work for me. Uh, it works for a lot of people, but it didn't happen to work for me. Um, so I kind of just started doing a little bit more research, and I found Dr. Candula uh, did a, a procedure where he would do some pillar implants in the uh, back of my soft palate. But after talking with him, he said that probably wasn't the best option for me. And we decided uh, together that maybe the surgery was the way to go. Doctor, what is entailed in the surgery that Keith had, and, and why do you think that this is such a, a good alternative? Well, with, in, with, with Keith specifically, he had obstruction in the back of his throat and through his nose. And what we did in surgery is basically open those areas up so he could breathe. The machine he was talking about is a CPAP appliance, which, which is a machine you'd wear every night when you're sleeping that kind of tents that open. Surgery does the same thing without having to use a machine. Now, some people may be watching this. They may know this story all too well. They may have a spouse or they themselves uh, are suffering from sleep apnea. Is everyone a candidate for this surgery? No, not everybody, but it's one of those things that a lot of people are candidates, but they don't know it. Um, and the only way to really know that you're, if you're a candidate or not is to get checked out by somebody who, uh, who's able to, to perform those sorts of surgeries. And Keith, uh, after the surgery, your story is a successful one, I think. Absolutely. I mean, 100%. I, I, I didn't expect going into it that I would be feeling so good. But afterwards, now that you know I've gone through it for a while and have been uh, living with it, uh, I'm so glad I did it. Okay, so I got Dr. Ben and Candula from uh, Wheaton Franciscan St. Joe's. Thanks so much for uh, talking Thanks. with us today. Congratulations Thank on you. uh, your clean bill of health and sleeping better. 7:53 right now. Our Kathy Aris has been busy following breaking news in Kenosha County this.